The more people you talk to, the greater your chances are of winning. So how do I get my first deal fast? Hi there, it's Kevin Ward, the founder of Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, helping you get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to get your first deal fast or how to get your next deal fast. And the first thing is, if you have not yet watched my video on your first 30 days as a new real estate agent, watch that video first. We've got the link down below in the description of this video, but that's the first step because that will get help you build the foundation and a framework for what I'm about to share with you on the exact strategies of how to get your first deal fast. And in that video, we talk about just a foundation of commitment and getting your skill set and knowing what to say and how to say it and learning that fast. So that's the first step is watch that video and so forth. Then the next thing is we're gonna talk about tactically, who do you talk to, what do you do to get your first deal fast? But here's the overarching principle, and that is you talk to people and you ask for the business, okay? And he, because here, whoever asks the most wins. That's the answer right here. Whoever asks, talks to the most people, whoever asks for the most business, that is who's gonna win. If you talk to 10 people in the next 30 days, or you talk to 150 people in the next 30 days, or 1,000 people in the next 30 days, the more people you talk to, the greater your chances are of winning. So how do I get my first deal fast? Okay, now we're talking about for you to go out and generate your own lead, generate your own business and get a deal and get it under your belt in the first 30 days, how do I get that done fast? So we're not gonna talk about, you know, go to your broker and ask for referrals or ask for them to give you a lead or whatever. Nothing wrong with that. You can go ask for it. it, that's awesome. If they generate leads for you and you get a lead, how do you get the first deal fast? Talk to them. Learn what to say and how to say it to find the people that are interested in buying and selling right now and lead them to a decision. If I was starting over as a brand new agent, here is how I would go about getting my first deal fast. Number one is I would contact and I would talk to my entire personal circle. Talk to my entire personal circle, everybody that I know, everybody I know anywhere and ask for business. Get the word out. Ask them to keep their eyes and ears open for people they, they know or people they run into who are looking to sell or buy or invest in real estate. Okay, you want to start getting your word of mouth marketing team working for you. You go like, well, but I'm not, I don't, I'm new. I, what if they don't trust me? What if they're, you know, they don't believe in me? Go back and go watch the video on how to get started your first 30 days. Go back and watch that video and then you'll know the answer. All right? But you've got to do that, you've got to know that answer so that you're not afraid to talk to your personal circle and start asking for business now. One of the mistakes that a lot of new agents make is they say, well, I'm going to wait until I've proven myself, until I've sold a lot of houses, and then I'm going to go talk to people I know. But I'm going to start out talking only to strangers. The perfect, you can do that, it's just going to be a lot slower and a lot more painful to get success. Why in the world would you not go to people that you know, that already know you, trust you, and like you, and ask for their help? It, it makes no sense, all right? Even if you've messed up in the past, everybody knows you're not perfect. People that know you know you're not perfect. But when you do what I teach you in the other video on the 30 days, you're gonna know that I can go talk to my PC and I can get business, my personal circle, and I can get business from them right now. So that's number one, is talk to everybody in your personal circle and get the word out. Talk to them, text them, Facebook message them, write them a letter. Everything you can do, but the key is, ask right and when you can ask face to face or ear to ear when you actually talk to them live way better than if you just do it with a text message okay so i'm saying text message in addition to actually talking to them number two then is i want you to talk to all for sale by owners and expired listings when they first hit the market, day number one, every single day, you're calling all the new for sale by owners, you're calling all the new expires. You call them, you go knock on their door, you do everything it takes to get in front of as many of those people as possible. Now again, go back to the other video on the first 30 days, what to do to prepare for that, and you can literally, day one, go out and start doing this. All right, now are you gonna be great at it? No, but you're gonna get great fast if you take action. So for sale by owners and expires are the fastest 
best way to get listings today. All right, what, do you, what you don't have in skill and expertise and experience, you make up for in commitment, in desire, in the, 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 the passion that I'm gonna work harder than anyone else. All right, so go out and talk to For Sale by Owners Expires. By the way, uh, are you gonna be scared? Is, what if I'm scared? You're gonna be scared. It's just part of the game. Now, if you're not scared, congratulations, but when I started, I was scared, but I went and I started, and I went out there and I started, and I got deals fast, because I wasn't afraid to go out and ask for business. I got my first for sale by owner listing. The next week, I got a referral from a personal circle that was a buyer, and I ended up selling that first listing to a buyer that came. My first listing was a for sale by owner, and my first buyer came from my personal circle, and bam, they came together as a transaction like in a week once I, once I went out there and found them. So go out there and get them that way. Now that's, so that's your first two steps your personal circle, people that you know, and then for sale by owners and expires because those are people that have raised their hand and said, I need help selling my house. I need to sell right now. So I'm now finding people that can actually give me a deal fast that I can get a listing with because they've, I already know they wanna move. Number three, the third way to get business fast is with open house events. Now. Notice, I don't just call it an open house, I call it an open house event. What is the difference between an open house and an open house event? An open house is where I take a listing and I go in, unlock the door, put a sign in the yard that says open house, and I sit in the house and wait for somebody to come in and ask me to help them buy the house. That's an open house. An open house event is where I go out and make things happen to generate business, to make traffic happen, both in that open house and also in my business. So here's what you do. With the open house event, and I've got other training on more detail and with my coach in my coaching programs is all the details on how to use set up a powerful open house event, but here's the basic overarching strategy is you're gonna market the open house in all the ways that you can market it, and you're gonna go out and you're gonna knock two or three or four hundred doors around that open house, around that property, and I'm gonna to talk to all the other houses, all the other homeowners in the area and invite them to the open house. All right, if you've got a copy of my, the book of Yes, the book of Yes has the open house invite script where the, the, you can go around and it tells you exactly what to say to invite them to come to the open house and here's what happens. Is not only do I potentially find a buyer for the house, but most importantly is you are out there on the streets talking to homeowners and you are doing what a motivated seller would want their agent doing if they when they hire that agent and that is you're you're working you're working helping get a house sold now you go like well, how do i hold an open house if i don't have a listing well you go find another agent in your office top producing agent in your office that has a lot of listings and ask them if they have a great new listing that you can do an open house event at all right and you just look around until you find one and then you can do an open house event on their listing and yes you get with their permission you go out and you knock doors and you invite people to the open house event. What I recommend you do is you create your own kind of an open house flyer about the property and it is also an invite to the open house event. And you go out and you knock two or three or 400 doors, you're gonna to talk to a lot of homeowners and they may or may not be interested in coming to the house, they're probably not buying it, but, they're, but what you get the opportunity to do is connect with those people that are gonna be future business for you. And because of that, you'll have some people come You'll have buyers that'll walk in that house and at the open house events, you increase your chances of both getting a buyer that comes in that is unrepresented that you can help buy that house or another house and you uh, increase your chances of getting into great conversations with homeowners who go like, you know what, we're actually thinking of selling our house and I like the fact you came by and invited us to an open house, so let's talk. And you can actually get leads and listings that way because you didn't just go open a door, put a sign in the yard and sit in the house and wait for somebody to come to you. You're out on the streets making things happen. So the whole, what we're doing is we're looking at where's the best chance of people that are the most likely to either need my help or to know somebody that needs my help that I can help right away. And then we're using the strategy of simply talking to them. The more people you talk to, the more chances are you have of getting business. So talk to people you already know, talk to people that you know are wanting to buy or sell a house, and talk to people out there that you can create buzz just in the process of a house that needs to be sold that you can potentially attract both buyers and sellers 
And with all of that in place, if you're playing like a pro, you're training, you're learning what to say and how to say it, you've got that confidence, you've got that commitment to be the best, you're gonna get business and you're gonna get it fast. Hope you liked the video. If it helps, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you got questions or comments or other strategies that you've used that are like this really helped me, make sure you post those. Share those down in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and I'll see you on the next video. And when you do this, you can always expect yes.